everyone, it's Keely for Soy and Shea and thank you for joining me. This week I'm making a custom loaf of soap for a very good friend of mine who is needing some party favours. We decided to go with Ocean Breeze from Aroma which has notes of apple, melon, orange and bergamot on a base of lavender, violet and musk. It's a really nice fragrance oil which does have that sort of oceany smell. No vanillin so no chance of it discolouring and it holds really well once um, the soap's gone through the curing process. I'm hoping to create a bit of an ocean sort of scene with this soap. I'm going to have a beachy look or the sand across the bottom of the mould and then up through the top I'm going to do some swirls using some blues and blue green colours and then I have some seashells which I'm going to decorate the top of the soap with. So let's go ahead and get started. So in my big red bucket here I have my oils all melted ready to go and at room temperature and in my smaller bucket here I have my lye water. Now 90% of the time when I mix my lye water I do also add in some tassar silk because I really like the feeling that this gives um, to the finished bars. I'm going to pour this down the stick blender, give it a bit of a mix up and then I'm going to split it out for the colours. lovely mess that I just made while pouring that out. Now I'm going to put in my mix of gold and titanium dioxide into this smaller bucket here and as well as that once I've got this all mixed in I am going to add in a little bit of um, pumice just for a little bit of, of exfoliation and also to give that real illusion of sand in the bottom of the mould. So I have here my ground pumice and I'm going to add just under a tablespoon into this I think. In fact I'll add about half of that and see what it looks like. And Because I don't want it to be too scrubby but I do want that sort of feeling that it could be a bit of sand in the bottom of the, the soap there. I might just finish adding the rest of that in because I don't think that's too bad. So I'll go like that. Now I did um, mix this up just a little bit more than I normally would with the stick blender because this is going to be a bottom layer and I want it to set up a little bit um, while I mix all the other colours up. Okay, so we have our mould here. I'll just move this a little bit out my way here. Okay, so I have the mould and I'm just going to pour this straight into the bottom here. sort of realistic seabed I'm just moving the soap batter around a little bit um, so it has a few dips and hills and stuff throughout the soap base here so we'll just move that a little bit there all right so now I'm pretty happy with that while that's setting up a bit I am going to go ahead and start mixing these other colors
Okay, so the colours that I've chosen to use for this soap today, in the big red bucket I put in some water dispersible titanium dioxide. This one that I've just finished mixing there, that is Aquamarine from My Micro Obsession. This one here is Sea Mist, also from My Micro Obsession. And then the darker blue colour that I'm using is Cobalt. Now I'm just going to mix this in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now I've got all that mixed up, I'm going to pour my blues and into my white and do a bit of an in the pot swirl. And so let's get all these out of the way. But these are starting to thicken up on me, so I'm going to start pouring in now. So I've got all of those in there. I'm just going to grab my smaller spatula here, give it a bit of a stir, and then we're going to go and grab the mold and start pouring these in. Just now I'm down to where all the white is, I'm just going to put the last of this colour into the pot so we don't just end up with white on the top. So those buckets have been scraped out. I've given this a really good knock down and now I'm just going to put a little bit of texture over the top using my spoon. I'm not going to do anything too much because we have got some embeds to go on the top here but I just wanted to have that little bit of look of ocean waves. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I have some Epsom salts here. These ones have been coloured with that sea mist from my micro obsession. I'm just going to sprinkle just a few over the top. I also have some which have been coloured with that cobalt blue from my micro obsession. So just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on the top as well. And then just to make sure that those salts really do stick, I am going to give this a quick knock down so that they stick into the soap. So when my friend actually contacted me to make this soap, I'd only just placed an order to get these silicon moulds with these seashells on them. And because I really wanted to use them, um, we decided that we would do this ocean soap. So what I did, and I still got to clean those moulds off, over the last few days, I've been pouring melt and pour, non-sweat melt and pour into the um, into the mold so that I ended up with all these little shells and then I just gently dust over the top of them with a little bit of mica. So I've got all different ones like I've got um, gold, bronze, there's some silver, all sorts. And these shells that you get in here, they range from being really quite big ones right down to tiny little ones. There's even ones smaller than that in here. Pop. So there's all sorts of sizes in here. It's a really nice mould. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop these shells 
onto the mould just randomly. They will end up getting cut, some of these, but most bars will have at least one whole um, shell. So I'll just keep going through popping these on here. that is probably pretty much right I don't want to put so much on that I completely ruin the effect of the soap so I'll bring you down for a closer look of this one okay so here it is this is ocean breeze and I'm going to leave this for about 18 hours and then I'm going to come back and cut it and show you the inside Hey everyone, I am back to cut Ocean Breeze. It has set up beautifully with no soda ash. It is smelling gorgeous. And I'm going to use the single um, bar cutter here, which I've had from Pure Delights Soap Cutters, and there's a link down below. I'm choosing to use my single bar cutter because of all this melt and pour on the top. I don't want to risk um, putting it through the multi bar in case they do ping on me. So I'm just going to come straight down. I have got a couple of little air pockets on the side of this soap. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too bad on the inside. And here is, wow, the first piece. And that has come up beautifully. So I am really, really happy. I'm hoping that the camera is catching the um, colours of that I have had to move it so it looks a bit dark to me but we'll see so I'm just gonna pop those there and I might move down a little bit and bring you guys a bit further into the light there we go so we'll try there for you as well so I'm just gonna come now I just realized I have got that salt on the top so I'm going to turn the bar onto its side so I don't drag any of that salt through. And here is another piece that has come up so pretty. It really does look like the, the sand across the front with the waves coming up and over the edge. And then each of them have got their own little selection of um, seashells and salt. And what I'll do with each of these bars is then chop it in half and this is the size that she wants. So she just wants half of a full bar of soap per person. So I am very pleased with how this comes up. I hope that she's going to like it too. Um, so this is actually, I've been making this soap in June but as promised to her I won't be showing this video until July once everyone's received their little gifts here and here's another piece so that has come up beautifully swelled as that in the pot swell there so I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this ocean breeze custom loaf of soap I'm going to continue cutting this one off camera if you have liked and enjoyed watching this video please leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below I will get back to you with any questions and if you haven't already why not subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell sign and it will let you know the next time I upload a video so thanks for watching until next time have a great week